Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel this week. Today's video is my last homecoming related video for this calendar year. I feel like I've made a lot of homecoming related videos this year, but I have one homecoming left and that is tonight. I actually just got my nails done and I actually really like how they turned out. They're like a really deep red color. And since I never revealed what dress I ended up buying, I actually ended up getting a different dress than any of the ones I showed in my vlogs. So the nail polish color should give you like a little hint about what color the dress is and we can do like a little reveal later, I guess. But for now, I'm gonna do my makeup and I think I'm gonna keep my hair down and I only have an hour to get ready So like doing a fancy hair look just isn't in the time span of today And then we're also gonna put on the outfit put on the shoes put everything together And I have a one whole hour to get this done. So starting with makeup I'm gonna start by using this little sample that I've been like using a lot recently I don't even own this product But I got this as a sample from Sephora and I love it so much It's called Tarte BB moisturizer tinted moisturizer and I've always wanted a product that's like concealer like coverage Where you don't have to set it with anything like no powder or anything you can just just put it on and like go on with your day because I'm not about you know putting on foundation and concealer and then the powder and everything on top so I just kind of put this wherever I'm looking a little red this looks so weird right now but I promise it just kind of balances out my skin tone once I smoothen it out I'm just gonna smoothen this out until it looks about even I'm also gonna put on a little bit as like an eyeshadow primer Wait a minute, I have eyeshadow primer. Okay, I'm really out of it. It's fine. If you guys saw my last Get Ready With Me video, you noticed that I don't really have a lot of makeup. I have this Naked Urban Decay Basics palette, and it's really small, but I think it'll work. I think last time I may have gone for, like, a darker brown, but I think I want to go for, like, a light brown shade. That'd look pretty cool. That's what we're doing. And just like last time, I think I'm going to mix a couple. We're going to mix from this palette, this palette, and the Urban Decay one. I'm going to get my base shadow brush. This is from... Um, I think it's called Real Techniques is the brand. Use my lovely Naked 2 shade. And that's going to act as like my foundation for this, I guess. Makeup is not my strong suit, but we work with what we have. Last week, James Charles came out with his um, Unleash Your Inner Artist palette. And part of me really wanted it. But the other part of me knew that I would literally not have any use for it whatsoever. I don't know if I was the only one in that spot. But apparently a lot of people are really liking it because it's sold out in like less than a day. And if I was crazy with makeup looks, or at least a little more more adventurous or creative you know maybe it would be the palette for me oh no it's not that noticeable but I just low-key dented my nail not the actual nail but the polish I'm gonna go into a little bit of that shade that might be kind of cool and different it's probably not even pigmented I like looks where you know that it's there but it's not in your face there you know I think that blended pretty well. I need to add like some kind of depth, something a little darker. I think I'm going to mix these two shades a little bit and that'll be like the end of the look because I don't have time to do anything crazy and I also don't want to do anything crazy. And you know how sometimes you have a good look and then you're like, "Ooh, let me add a finishing touch." And then you ruin the entire thing. I can't afford to have one of those moments today. So, if I am even half liking how it looks, I'm just going to stop there. I think I'm approaching that point. I just noticed the little lens flare moment that's happening on this side of the screen. Green. That's kind of cool. This is such a dark shade and yet it doesn't show up. <gasps> oh, oh, it showed up and not in a good way. See, this is exactly what I mean. I had a good look. I think I may have ruined it just a little bit. I'm just going to add some neutral color kind of up here. I'm going to finish off with a little bit more of my favorite shade, Naked 2. Just make that kind of standout color. I guess now would be, because I don't know if I want to do eyeliner. I don't think so. Part of me wants to. Part of me is saying stop it. Uh, eyeliner is one of those things that can literally ruin a look in two seconds. Okay, you know what? I don't have any sharpened eyeliner pencils, so we're just going to move on. Next we have some Too Faced waterproof mascara. I don't have any normal mascara so we're going with the waterproof. I forgot to do the inner corner of my eye. Brighten it up using like a whitish shade. I usually don't but on special occasions like this I figure we'll just do the extra step. It's one of those things where only I am going to be able to tell that it's there. No one else is going to be like, whoa, love your inner corner shadow. Because no one's going to notice I even have it on. <laughs> All right, cool. That's done. Curl lashes and then tweak. If there's anything that I do like to be a little bit more dramatic, I guess it's my eyelashes. I have longer eyelashes, so I like to just make them show. I don't, I don't know how to word that. We'll do the bottom ones even. I never do the bottom lashes, but on special occasions, why not? Do you see this clump? Oh no. We get to delete that moment as if it never happened. It's the funniest thing actually thinking about it because I do my mascara right and then afterwards I 
do this really weird thing. I don't think I did this in my last video. I kind of sandwich my mascara in between like a tissue with makeup remover on it just because it gets rid of the really chunky parts that I don't really like. So it almost looks like I'm taking it off. And honestly, I like, I kind of am, but it leaves the lashes like still really long just without all like the extra stuff see so this one like i haven't done the trick yet with but this one i have and it's just as much volume but there's not as many chunks and it works so after that the mascara that is not clunky is still on there but i can still make them longer so i think we're almost done with this look which is exciting because i really need to put my outfit on maybe just a chapstick so that my lips aren't completely bare i don't know let's use this burt's b chapstick that I've had since so long I don't even remember. This is pink grapefruit. So that way they're like shiny but not. That is the makeup look all complete. So now I'm gonna go put on my outfit. Hopefully everything just kind of comes together because not gonna lie right now I am not feeling too confident but a couple spritzes to the hair wouldn't hurt. I mean my hair just looks dead over here. And what's funny is that all the hair underneath like it holds its curl. Like all of this is pretty much curly right? And then this is just not. We're gonna put my outfit on now. A few moments later. Alrighty, so it's been a minute or two and this is my little dress reveal. It's from Charlotte Russe and it's a really pretty red color. This is the first time I'm actually seeing the color against the nail polish color and it looks pretty cool. So luckily that's a good match. So now I'm going to put on my accessory, which is a layered necklace, and then my shoes and then I think we'll be done. So this is what the fun layered necklace looks like. I really don't want it to get tangled because once it gets tangled, it's so hard to undo do. Eventually. All right, the necklace is on. All right, so this is the final outfit all complete. I feel like James Charles. So this is the final makeup look all complete. So starting with the makeup look up here, kind of natural, kind of liking it. Then we have my hair, which I ended up just kind of leaving alone. I figured it's one of those things where it's okay now, and if I try to mess with it, odds are I'm probably just gonna make it worse. And then I added this layered necklace, which I really like. It's gold to match my shoes down here, which are the exact same shoes that I wore to my last home coming and they look pretty cool with the deep red nail polish and then of course the dress and this is how it all came together I know this wasn't really the longest video but even still I had so much fun putting it together for you guys I ended up taking about 45 minutes so I have a good 15 minutes left to spare pretty good honestly considering that I usually take forever to get ready so hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe that whole thing and I'll see you guys next week bye Hey guys, what's up? Oh my god, I already hate that intro. Oh, there's crusty applicators in here. Okay, and it's not even just because I'm on a time crunch, like, oh god, time crunch, at Julia.